Punishment in the New Testament. The word for punishment is colossus. The word was originally a gardening word, and its original meaning was pruning trees. In Greek, there are two words for punishment, tamoria and colossus, and there is quite a definite distinction between them. Aristotle defines the difference. Colossus is for the sake of the one who suffers it. Tamoria is for the sake of the one who inflicts it. Plato says that no one punishes Colossi simply because he has done wrong. That would be to take unreasonable vengeance, Tamoritai. We punish Colossi, a wrongdoer, in order that he may not do wrong again. Protagoras 3.23e Clement of Alexandria, Stromatus 4.24 and 7.16, defines Colossus as pure discipline, and Tamoria as the return of evil for evil. Olius Gellius says that Colossus is given that a man may be corrected. Tamoria is given that dignity and authority may be vindicated. The Attic Knights 714. The difference is quite clear in Greek, and it is always observed. Tamoria is retributive punishment. Colossus is always given to amend and to cure. William Barclay from the Apostles' Creed. Tamoria, vengeful punishment, is used twice, Acts 22.5 and 26.11. Both of these are Paul's account of how he used to persecute Christians. God is not like Saul, the Pharisees, and the priests. Colossus, the divine corrective punishment, is the judgment of Matthew 25, 46, and 1 John 4, 17 to 18. There is a corrective punishment in the age Ionia to come. Some have already been perfected in love and had all fear cast out. They abide in love and in life in God. However, the judgment crisis decision is for those who have lives in the flesh and not yet accepted this love and life. They will be corrected and perfected by God's love and life in Christ by the Spirit. The plan of Abba, Jesus, and Holy Spirit is the restoration of all things to live in their perfect love. This was compiled by Dr. Eric Wilding.